that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. <laughs> oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. Wow. Wow. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Wow. Wow. Come on. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised. Honestly, I am not surprised. I mean, these people are fighting to delete their offspring and be able to, to, to you know, to terminate. Well, um, let me not use that word on this platform, but I'm going to stick to delete. Um, delete their offspring and then and delete their uh, uh, offspring in a ninth in the ninth month and all that kind of stuff and then and then uh, uh, like why would you be surprised I'm, I'm just not surprised disappointed yeah but I mean we're using we're using a uh, uh, technology with a bitten fruit on it okay so <laughs> you can't really see it too well but yeah so it's just ridiculous all right it's absolutely ridiculous um, so I, I'm, I'm not surprised from Kamala. I, I personally see her as a, a, a agent, a Satan operating straight in the synagogue of Satan. And, uh, I, I just think that they have the agenda to delete and destroy. And, and that's that. And it's like, they, they just want to ruin things and make it wicked for everybody. And, you know, miserable people want to see other people miserable. Okay. Um, and that's kind of how I see it. I think it's very demonic. I think it's the agenda of Satan. Okay, I think that um, I don't think you can believe in God and vote Kamala Harris at all. Um, and that's that's that. I really think, but we all know that there are some people that are going to still say, oh, I believe in God and I'm voting for Kamala. I don't know how if, uh, you know, I can go into death, uh, but there's certain things that I, I just will refrain from saying for right now. Uh, on this video but yeah you can't believe in god and be a democrat you just can't i'm not saying republicans have it all together or figured out okay everybody's work in progress we're all taking it one day at a time and striving to be better people than we were yesterday in my mind um but yeah so that's that but we're gonna get into our next clip here um before we start i just want to say uh welcome to the king squad this is the best reaction channel on youtube and if nobody told you today i hope you guys are each having a great and awesome day shout out to the king squad the king squad family and the king squad elites you guys are the bomb.com and i hope everybody's having a great and awesome day if you're not well you woke up this morning all that beautiful stuff and uh yeah so let's get into our next clip um which is right here shout out to benny and uh, we're going to get into the comments really quickly. Uh, somebody said, congratulations, Kamala. You just lost a Christian vote. Well, you would think that. You would think that. But there are bird brain Christians out there, okay? There are some very goofy uh, lost Christians out there. So there, there is that. So there are Christians who will still vote Kamala and say, it, it's an, you know, you can delete offspring, you know, and, and then wonder why their families aren't big and all this other stuff and, you know, they control nothing and no power and all this other kind of stuff. It just goes, it just gets darker from there. So anyways, um, somebody said, I said about a month ago, this is not a race between Republicans and Democrats. This is between good and evil vote accordingly. I agree with that. Um, uh, some people will say we are, uh, choosing the lesser of the two evils. All right. Some people will say that as well. Um, I'm aware Listening to Crazy Kamala is torture of the worst kind. Interesting. Uh, somebody said, disrespect to the Catholic, who wish, Christian uh, community. We are all voting Trump in his household. Interesting, interesting. Um, and I know how this is pronounced uh, uh, as far as Jewish goes. I just have uh, interesting. I just, you know, moving forward, have my own thoughts about certain things. She's in the wrong country. Um... And so, yeah, let's see. Laughing hyenas don't make good presidents. I completely agree. I don't think she takes this job seriously. Um, she doesn't give an F about uh, the American people. They don't. She doesn't give an F about your financial futures, your family, uh, your strides of generational wealth, you know, uh, making sure, you know, your grandkids, your kids, kids can eat. She doesn't care about any of that. 
She's like, to hell with all of that. All right. You guys can suffer for all. That's kind of how they come on. They're coming off. OK, I mean, the American dream was sold over to the immigrants. OK, we are not. We're, we're the new. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Modern day slavery, man. Modern day slavery. Make America godly again. I don't think that will happen, but uh, we can we will give it our best shot. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty wild. So we're gonna get right into this video. I will be giving my thoughts and commentary periodic periodically throughout the video, more so on the back end. So stay tuned for that, and let's get right into it. You probably say no. You work out of this cushy studio. You go to a man on the street, but that's not particularly fraught or hazardous. You stand in there with a microphone talking to people. Typically, very nice people. And so, no, Benny, you do not get hazard pay, but I would counter by simply saying this, that multiple times during a given day in the 2024 news cycle, I have to plug my headset in and listen to Kamala Harris say words live on camera. And that is a fate worse than death. If I were in Guantanamo Bay and they just plugged the speaker system into like Kamala speeches 24 hours a day, I'd give them anything they need. I, I'd tell them anything. It would be torture beyond the Geneva Convention. Cruel and unusual. I'd do anything, say anything, just to make them stop. Like, for instance, let me give you an example. Kamala Harris just walked, Kamala Harris just walked on screen, str uh, on stage, uh, at a Michigan rally. And we watch all the rallies, just in case something happens. This is how we're so quick on X, all right, to get our clips up. And um, this is what I am subjected to multiple times a day. And it is <laughs> Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> good afternoon. Oh. Yeah, that's not somebody I see leading our country into uh, prosperity. That's not somebody who I see will enforce uh, us being a strong and bold nation. I don't I don't see any of that. I don't see us getting respected as a nation. Um, I don't see us being, uh, you know, any type of feared. And uh, yeah, I think that I, I can't even imagine her sitting in at a table full of the, uh, you know, filled with the other world leaders. I think she would actually uh, bomb it and, uh, yeah, she would drag us into war, which is we already know she wants to do that. So, yeah, I don't even think she takes this job seriously. Like, she acts like oh, she just, you know, happened to just fumble around and accidentally end up on stage for being, you know, a, a nominee for the president of the United States. So, it's just, can we, we got to get her out of here, man. <laughs> I can't, sometimes I just can't believe this isn't a movie, right? It's like, like a, not like a, like a Batman villain. Like we all see what Kamala Harris would act like in the, like the Fox News interview, right? She's like this, the most cutthroat, bloodthirsty, lizard, cold-blooded person. He literally is. She behaves like a lizard person. Kamala Harris, this is not Kamala Harris. This, this is fake. This is all fake. And she's not even a good, she's not a good actress. It's so fake. It's so cringe. It's so suburban wine mom. She's so full of shit. And in fact, flies attacked her at this exact rally. <laughs> That's how full of she actually is. Our small businesses. I got a plan for you. I love our small businesses. Our small businesses. She's got a plan to sabotage small businesses more than she already has. Number one, let's start right there. All right. She doesn't even know the first thing about starting a business. Actually, she doesn't know anything about business. Democrats are not pro business. All right. I do not see. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I, I do not see uh, uh, people saying, yeah, I'm going to vote Kamala Harris because Kamala, Kamala Harris is really business minded. That that doesn't even sound right. You you say Kamala Harris and business and it sounds like antonyms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That is so funny to me. Um. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, she does not know anything about business and yeah. They're part of the backbone of America's economy. Bless 
She would not know that. Let, let's. How about we put the businessman back in charge, okay, to help businesses? Let's start there. Thank you all for the work you are doing. You see the fly there? You see? You see it? You see it? You can see it. You see it, right? The backbone of America's economy. Bless you all for the work you are doing. All right. So the joy is gone, and it actually left in this speech. This is the clip that everybody is talking about, Kamala losing it. You want to know why Kamala isn't winning? Because men see this clip and go, I'm not giving her nukes. Men have the privilege of standing behind the seal of the president of the United States. Are your ears bleeding? Never again. Yeah. Never again. Never again. Men, women, old. Just a bunch of theatrics. There's no real backbone to anything she's saying. There's no foundation. There's no backbone. There's no strength, no honor, no diligence and dignity and any anything that mean that means anything. Okay. There's nothing behind it. It's there's no power behind her words with that one. It's just, you know, just a bunch of theatrics and to get people hyped up. That's the the, the Democrats really just run off like playing off people's emotions. That's really it. Young, black, white, purple. Everybody sees that and goes, nope, nope, shouldn't have the nukes. No, no. Well, guess what? 538, which is like this far left wing, totally broken pollster that only gives left wing results, is now saying that Trump's going to win. Would you look at that? Donald Trump now the favorite to win in one of the most left wing polling sites uh, on earth. By the way, that little Kamala Harris rally, look at the teeny crowd. Look at this. Look at how small of a crowd that is. This would be the front row at a Trump event. I was just at a Trump event. Look at this. Look at how teeny the crowd is. Not wow. a huge turnout tonight for the Harris Waltz Blue Walt bus tour uh, with swing state governors the night before Kamala Harris's uh, Michigan swing. Look at that. Uh-oh. Would you look at that? Well, well, well. <laughs> like, there's been more people. You see more people in line at a Chick-fil-A. And why? Well, because when Kamala Harris goes on to, when, when people see Kamala Harris, they see a liar, right? Like here. Said this week that every president has to cut their own path. What is one policy that you would have done differently over these last three and a half years than President Biden? I mean, to be very candid with you, you, even including Mike Pence, um, vice presidents are not critical of their presidents. <laughs> wow. Elect me president. Okay, what would you do? Vice presidents don't have any power. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. White dudes for Harris, by the way, making a making a big comeback. Uh, yeah, okay. This is, uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Yeah, that, that guy was a great way. He was just as great as Tim Waltz says, uh, you know, at their best attempts to represent masculinity. You know, because that's, you know, that's what they were trying to do there. Uh, would bring in Tim Waltz on, bringing that guy on. Yeah, young men. Yeah, men vote for vote for Kamala Harris. Yeah, we we love masculinity over here. We got Tampon Tim out here and and, and this other guy. <laughs> Fumble. But here's what we do know. Here's what we do know. The cringe Kamala Harris campaign can get worse and will get worse and does get worse. Ladies and gentlemen, something that is uh, rocketing around the internet right now is a clip of Kamala Harris responding to a individual, an American, at her rally that decided to yell, Jesus is Lord. This person yelled, Jesus is Lord, and Kamala Harris said in reply, you are at the wrong rally. This isn't an AI. This isn't somebody clipping it all together to make Kamala look bad. This has been this has been written up by the corporate media. You guys are at the wrong rally, Kamala says. Okay. Uh, well, that's a little interesting. Kind of strange way to phrase that. Kamala Harris explodes at her vile anti-Christian hatred by telling people saying Jesus is Lord that you're at the wrong rally. Christians are not welcome at Kamala's Democratic Party. Vote accordingly. Actually demonic. MAGA is the party of Jesus. Kamala is the party of the devil. <laughs> I mean, I'll let you make your own. Uh, I'll make you let your make your own assumptions. Here's the. My bad. I forgot I muted my microphone. I apologize. But Dem I, basically what I said was Democrats are out here serving uh, the, the goat man, if you know anything about that. I'm not going to say his name, but or its name. You know, it's like half goat, half man. And we're not talking Mr. Thomas from Narnia. Uh, I'm talking about, you know, the, the you know, the, 
dude going like that, one hand down, one hand up. They out here serving the goat man. <laughs> they do not serve God. I'm going to say that right now. The actual clip, it's... His name starts with a B. Its name starts with a B. I'm not going to say its name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. That's that's who they serve. That's why they out here trying to delete kids and out here and, and they sacri making sacrifices and sacrificing the next generation. And uh, Man. <laughs> Self, listen for yourself. With the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. <laughs> Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Oh, you mean this? You mean this huge stadium full of... More like more people at there. There are literally more people at the Pee Wee soccer game in your neighborhood on a Saturday morning. So here's the person who actually yelled Jesus is Lord uh, recalling what happened. So a few weeks ago, I attended the Trump rally here in my town. Before I dive into what I'm about to share, here's a peek at that. Well, today I found out that Kamala Harris was coming to my town, so. I decided to go. I wanted to see the differences. Notably, I had to show my ID to get in to see her. But anyway, I was making a video talking actually about how sad I was that the loudest cheering at the rather small event came in support of abortion. When I panned over to the crowd and to her speaking and I caught something I wasn't expecting. Check it out. Not a lot of energy here, but everyone just uh, cheered and screamed for killing babies. So that was disappointing. Anyway, here she is. Did you hear that? Some guy in the crowd shouted, Jesus is Lord. And Kamala said, I think you're at the wrong rally. And then she said, try the smaller one down the street. Everyone laughed and laughed and cheered. But I was at that rally. There were almost 7,000 people at it. Today they said there were 2,500, nobody waiting, open spaces. I wanted everyone who's a believer to hear that for themselves. Again, we're not gonna be gaslighted on this. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade and they did as he intended. <laughs> you can hear oh, you guys thing. are at the wrong rally. Jesus is Lord. You guys are at the wrong rally. Compelling. I told you. The agenda is, is, is been the same. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Okay, delete, steal, and destroy. I'm not going to say the K word, the four letter K word, but delete, steal, and destroy. The synagogue is Satan. Okay, darkness, death, and destruction. That's, that's the whole agenda, okay? Uh, you will own, do what thou wilt, okay? If anybody knows about the history of that. Um, you will own nothing and be happy. That's that's the future, it, voting Democrat. That's that's what the future looks like, okay? You will own nothing and be happy. We already kind of there, but um, voting Trump kind of delays that, and you can kind of like get, a, a, you know, the window kind of remains open for you to get a, get a grip of your life. But going Kamala... Nope, nope, nope. It's it's a middle finger to your future. That is a middle finger to you, your bank account, your kids, your kids' kids, and your kids' kids' kids. All right, and that's that. Stuff. This woman is a disgusting piece of work. She refused to attend the Al Smith dinner, but instead made a blasphemous video. Uh, the blasphemous video obviously is uh, just like cringe. That Molly cringe, Molly Shannon video. Apparently, uh, the Kamala campaign is in total meltdown right now because, uh, well, they've been doing everything they can to offend Christians and Catholics. Here's Gretchen Whitmer in a Kamala Harris hat, uh, blaspheming the Holy Eucharist. Call her daddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great. I, I mean, Donald Trump actually made fun of Kamala Harris 
at the Catholic dinner last night saying this is Kamala Harris was was down on her knees last night. Um, You're making it easy, Kamala, right, for Christians to vote against you. And polls show they're doing exactly that. Here's Trump from last night. All polls are indicating I'm leading big with the Catholic vote, as I should be, as I should be. But I don't think Kamala has given up yet. She hasn't instead of attending tonight. She's in Michigan receiving communion from Gretchen Whitmer. (laughs) That's not a pretty sight. But Catholics, please don't be too insulted by Kamala's absence. If the Democrats, (laughs) yeah, he says, thank you very much, I appreciate that. (laughs) If Democrats really wanted to have someone not be with us this evening, they would have just sent Joe Biden. So there we have it. Uh, shout out to Benny on this video. And um, yeah, what did you guys think about that? I honestly think like this. If if she's saying middle finger to God, <laughs> uh, she's pretty much, you know, you wonder why the country's in shambles now. OK, it doesn't it doesn't work when you take Yahweh out of it. It doesn't take it doesn't work when you take Elohim out of it. All right. That's how I see it. Um, you know, when you when you take God out and put yourself first. That's just how I see it personally. Um, everybody's entitled to their own, own opinions, of course. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, uh, you know, a godless society, you wonder why things are cr- uh, uh, tanking, you know, and shout out to uh, shout out to Joker um, <clears throat> for anybody who knows who he is. Uh, and he's in a different part of YouTube, but um, he made an excellent point in one of his videos where he said that. Um, the what what was it it was something about like the lawlessness can't keep up with the immorality or something like that or something like around those lines but basically the quote that he he basically what he said was it was pertaining to the more we remove god from society these laws that we have in place in society can't keep up with the lawlessness in society Okay, so by removing Bibles from schools, uh, you know, not having kids, you know, pray and not, you know, instilling God in people and helping them, you know, teaching teaching them to do the right thing and be considerate of others and, you know, not not steal, but how to ask and be givers and, and, uh, you know, say thank you when you receive and all that kind of stuff by removing all that morality stuff from out outside of the schools, then the kids turn into like gremlins and then. (laughs) And now you got a future generation of just like straight future criminals. And it's it's just, you know, you get what you got, you know, and that's just what it is. That's what it turns into. And the laws can't keep up with the lawlessness. And that's just what it's going to be. So, you know, the future with the Democrats in power is not a pretty one. It's not a light one. It's a very dark one. And uh, yeah, so that's that. So for the people who are still, you know, Democrat is the way. Well, I guess I guess you want to see your bank account in the ring with Mike Tyson. Like that's kind of how I see it. Like <laughs> that's kind of how I see it. Your bank account is about to get knocked out, okay? Your your finances gone. All right. How however you do that, but yeah, gone. All right. Um your financial future shot. Uh generational wealth. Uh uh, uh what's the word? What's the word for dinosaurs that are no longer exist anymore? It slipped my mind. Oh, extinct. I was about to say prehistoric, but extinct. Yeah, financial future, extinct. It never existed. It's a myth. <laughs> um, financial future is that? No, no, no. I'm saying generational wealth. That's that's what came to my mind. Generational wealth, extinct. It's a myth, okay? It's like unicorns, okay? And that's that. Seeing your kids be prosperous and have healthy families and, you know, not have their family blown up and all that kind of stuff, gone all that kind of stuff and that's that's what happens you know going democrat that's what happens when we remove we remove kids being taught morality and we we let these kids run around and do evil stuff and then you know <clears throat> uh, we we just don't care about our elders and nobody's there to raise the kids up but the system and and all this other kind of stuff I, it's more to it than just the kids but that's a big part too all right like my generation can vote now that's a, that's a big deal all right. And uh, yeah, so stuff is pretty wild. Stuff is pretty wild. Somebody said she's in the wrong country. Yeah, I think so, too. 
So that's that, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys who left a positive comment and uh, all that great stuff. You know, and um, of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I completely understand that. This is just me giving mine, my, mine and my own thoughts. And uh, yeah, you guys have a great and awesome day. Stay blessed, stay prosperous, all that. Okay, drink some water, take a walk, get some sunshine, all that beautiful stuff. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, the King Squad elites. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.